few years ago when I began at SJK, I, I taught grade six. And this is a photo of uh, my grade six class. I'm in there somewhere. I did shave that morning, so uh, it might be hard to spot. But um, grade six is a very interesting time because um, for the very first time, they're learning to discover music beyond Justin Bieber in One Direction. And uh, that's very exciting. But what I noticed in that year for them as they were collecting music onto their laptops and their iPods is that they were collecting very poor quality music. Now, I don't mean the, the instrumentation or the lyrics. I mean the quality of the sound that they were listening to. So um, let's begin um, by actually looking at digital imagery first. Oh, sorry, actually what I wanted to show you before that is that this is a picture of me when I was 11 years old. So I've always been very involved in uh, digital sound, digital multimedia, and um, more than learning how to do things digitally in the computer, I've developed an ear. So I can, I hope, I, I believe I can hear things that, um, the, the subtle nuances that exist in all sound that we, uh, we experience all, all the time. Um, but that, uh, that's been in me for a long time. I've been working in digital multimedia for a long time. So this is a digital image, that digital image I was talking about. Um, on the left-hand side is an image that has been minimally compressed. That means that the image has gone through a compression algorithm to make it a small file. The image on the right is the same image, but it has been compressed quite heavily. And if you look very closely, you can see what we call JPEG artifacting. You can see that we're removing detail from the image. The image on the right, which has been heavily compressed, is very hard to see very subtle details. For example, we can't quite see individual hairs. We can't see the pores on the forehead. So it is not a good image. It is too heavily compressed. And uh, this is not the image. The image on the right is not the image that you would want to print and frame and put in your living room. However, we can't ignore the fact that that image on the right, we can store many more of those on a digital multimedia card or a hard drive. So it can be very tempting to compress a file so that we can have more of them and we can share them across the internet um, much more rapidly, much faster. Um, I'm showing you this because it's actually a great analogy for digital sound. So the MP3 was revolutionary, and you might remember when the MP3 came around. I was about 11 or 12 when I started experiencing the MP3. I could, for the first time, download a song in about three or four hours, and, um, and it was great, and I could store at least seven songs on my hard drive. So <laughs> the MP3 was quite revolutionary, but there is a cost to creating an MP3 from an original source recording or a CD or CD quality. We actually lose a lot of quality. And the things that we lose in a digital image, I want you to now consider those same losses in a digital sound. Imagine the finer details in a sound, such as this, um, a bow moving across a violin string, or hearing the fingers move across a guitar string, or the subtle intonation of a voice. We lose those things in a digital sound that has been heavily compressed. So we, we don't want to compress sound too heavily or else we end up losing subtle subtleties that exist that the recording engineer intended for you to hear. Now this is the grade six problem. This is called the MP3 cycle. An MP3 begins usually from a, a CD and it gets compressed and it gets made into an MP3 that is a reasonable MP3. It is not a bad quality MP3. Someone uploads that MP3 to YouTube and from YouTube, someone uses a service called uh, YouTube to MP3. This is one of many services that will do it. And it will extract the audio from a YouTube file, and um, it will, it'll compress it once again. So by the time the end user is experiencing the MP3, they're listening to a file that has been compressed three times. And um, that's far too much. And then there's one more time that this can be compressed, is sometimes this music actually re-enters the MP3 cycle. And I can hear in a YouTube um, video, I can hear if there is a file that is re-entering the MP3 cycle and has been uploaded as a previously you know, triple compressed file. So without getting too confused, if you're kids and adults here, if you're using a service called YouTube, YouTube to MP3, um, you're not really getting the full picture. You're not really listening to what the original recording artist or the engineers really intended for you to listen to. Um, I'm going to um, ask uh, for us to consider what the big deal is because there's many people out there that consider that um, children listening to heavily compressed music today is actually not that big of a deal. There's a certain tinny quality to an MP3 that some might argue actually sounds good. Um, but I'm going to argue um, that it's not good and it's, uh, we shouldn't be listening to music that has been compressed so heavily. I'm going to play um, two sounds. One is a, it's a James Taylor song and it's the same song. Um, I'll play just a brief clip. And in this sound, you'll be able to hear the original source recording, or at least it's, it's a minimally compressed recording. And then once again, we're going to hear it heavily compressed. And I want you to, gotta watch the feedback on those mixers. 
Um, I want you to listen very closely to the, uh, the loss of subtle detail in the second um, recording. Here we go. Use your ears. That I'd see you again. With the second file, we can hear that uh, generally you can hear that it's a James Taylor song and you can hear all the instruments, but uh, we're losing a lot of the quality um, that would have been there in the original source recording. So my message to you is please make sure that you get your music generally through legitimate means, but also through a means that's going to preserve the original um, integrity of the audio that was intended by the, uh, the recording artists and the engineers. Thank you very much.